So I'm super excited about this episode because in this episode we show you around the Monterey, California area. Today happens to be Father's Day, so huge happy Father's Day to my awesome hubby, who is also a great, great dad. But we are headed off to go check out the Big Sur area, and I'm very excited to be able to see this area. It's been on our list for a while, and we're finally making it happen this summer. So stay tuned, and we'll take you along with us and kind of show you what's down there to see. Just off of where this Bixby Creek bridge is, we found this dirt road that goes back here and decided we would just check it out. I saw a Ooh. sign that said impassable when wet. So I thought, well, if it's impassable when wet, it's dry. There must be something back there, right? And, and boy, it was so cool. This is Charity driving. She's even crazier She's than She's crazier than I am. She's usually the cautious one, but when she gets That's behind so a cautious. steering wheel of a Jeep, she's like, she's like right, 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 right. story. This is, this is the road. I guess this road does go all the way to Big Sur. If you go that far, it's about 12 miles. We didn't go that far, but it takes you down into like this redwood forest. And it's just absolutely epic and amazing. Four wheel drive not required, but small vehicle required. Definitely wouldn't get back there with a big truck. But the Jeep, of course, did fine, and I'm glad we had a Jeep for that reason. But super cool little hidden gem here off of Highway 1, just outside of the Big Sur area. This is so cool. Like, the trees are cool. There's all of these giant redwood trees. You've run into one other car, and it's just gorgeous, and it's peaceful, and it's beautiful. And I'm glad that we just decided to go ahead and take this turn and see where it took us because it was really, really cool. We are going to take a drive down to a beach called Lover's Point. Now, we scoped this beach out earlier in the week. We've been here for just about a week. And when we went down there, we weren't prepared to have a beach day per se. We just wanted to check things out and then head further down into Big Sur. But today we promised the kids we'd take them back and actually have a beach day at the beach at Lover's Point, which is in Pacific Grove. So we're gonna do that today. We'll take you along, we'll give you some tips if you wanna come to this area. One thing I will say about this area, it's normally chilly, it's 60s during the day and cloudy. And so we're blessed with sunshine today. So we're gonna take advantage of that and uh, hit the beach and hopefully enjoy some sun, sand and surf. So. Hopefully that's what we will get today, as long as the sun holds out for us. But first, we have to make a stop by our favorite place in all of California. And they have them in Arizona too. And so stay tuned, we'll show you what that is. <laughs> so, whenever you're in California or Arizona, in and out Burger, it's like one of our favorite places. Probably because we don't have it in Colorado. And so, you know, one of those things when it's like not available where you are and then something's available, you're like, I have to have it. So anyway, we're gonna grab us some lunch and then hit the beach. And the nice thing about it is if you eat, grab it protein style, I mean, you feel a lot less guilty eating it. I had to like totally laugh this sign back here. It said wear masks. Keep right. Continue on and then it says use mascaras. <laughs> Apparently, the Spanish word for mask is mascara, but I don't understand why they're using an English word, use, with the Spanish word. 
It's spangly. I'm glad that I am wearing my mascara today because apparently I'm going to be 100% compliant. I have my mask and I put on my mascara. <laughs> All the rest of you guys, I don't know. <laughs> little beach here at Pacific, this is called Pacific Grove. <laughs> Lover's Point. At Lover's Point. It's it's really small, so there's not a lot of beach area, but it's kind of sheltered by this like wall area on almost all of the sides, except for where then like the coast is, which then shelters you a little bit from the wind that seems like it's always blowing that makes it so cold by the ocean here. So it feels nice and warm <laughs> versus like even when we were in Santa Cruz or when we were at the beach right outside of our campground because of the wind and clouds. And so this is just a really nice beach to be able to come and hang out for the day and enjoy actual warmth versus kind of that chilliness that you feel by the sea that you want to feel if you're in Florida, but not when it's only 60 degrees in California. So right now when I checked, it said it's about 70. So it's a pretty good temp. Enjoy the sun, let the kids burn off some energy and enjoy some sand surfing sun finally in California. Speaking in the sand. So we just had to make a quick little pit stop here at a very special place that's near and dear to our hearts. <laughs> the Bucks of Star. Did Dad just say an armpit stop? <laughs> <laughs> no. Silly boy. Trinity's taking a nice little power nap. What are you doing? Playing Minecraft. So last night, I had this dream that I was eating a giant marshmallow. And when I woke up, my pillow was gone. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So we're here at Carmel by the sea. We drove by Pebble Beach and I have to say that had I realized Pebble Beach was mainly just like a golf course in a community, probably would have skipped it really that much to see or experience so uh, Carmel by the sea next stop on our little road trip for today and it's beautiful the sand is really white it reminds me of like a Florida beach versus a California beach and then the water is just kind of a beautiful emerald color which again reminds me of a Florida beach but uh, it is not as warm as Florida Beach, so not very many people in the water, but tons of people that are out enjoying this beautiful California day, and the waves are gorgeous looking, absolutely gorgeous looking. The water is beautiful. Um, just a really cool place to check out here at Carmel by the Sea. Waking up the sunrise, 
kicking up the dust You were made to shine forever I won't let you rest not the cheapest meal ever, but I have a feeling it's gonna be awesome. It's right here, like the ocean's just right here. And um, they actually sell like fish on the open market too. So I'm really looking forward to these snapper tacos. When eating here, one thing that you do need to watch out for is the seagulls. Look at your food. What the seagulls? How is it? So good. So I got the snapper tacos. And they're amazing. Not big on the tortillas, just with the carbs. That kind of snapper and peppers and pico. It's just amazing. And those crab cakes. Oh my goodness, those crab cakes are amazing. And I got some uh, crab and shrimp alfredo. And it's interesting, it's in a little cup here, but it, it does not take away from the amazing flavor of it. It's just absolutely amazing. How do you recommend this place? So one of the things that I think that I'm learning about this whole coastal area of the central coast and even as we work our way a little bit further north into the northern coastal area of California is that it's not very warm. Had I known that it wasn't going to be warm and sunny, I might have thought twice about making this part of our plans because I like to be in the warmth and the sunshine. And so far it's been fairly chilly, fairly cloudy and foggy. And talking with a lot of the local people, they say it's kind of like this a lot where you don't have big temperature swings. So at night it's in the 50s, during the day it's in the 60s. And that's what you get because you're so close to the ocean. It keeps the atmosphere in this area kind of a constant temperature. So as far as having low lows during the night and high highs during the day, that doesn't happen. It's very constant. And I know this, you might have made different plans, but here we are. So we're going to enjoy what we have. But if you're considering this and you're somebody that uh, loves the sunshine like me, just be aware that you may want to shorten your time. <laughs> if sun is what you're seeking, you go a little bit further south in Southern California where there's more sunshine or go further inland off of the coast. So that is kind of my little tip for you if you're thinking about the central Northern California coast and then even as we work our way into the kind of Pacific Northwest coastal area better idea of what to expect. We are at Lava's Point. Lava's Point. Lava. Hey, Lava. <laughs> <laughs> so, this piece right here. Uh -huh. This piece right here. You're showing me what happened to you. This, yes. This yes. came off. Without you know, fail. This completely came okay. off. And uh, so I... This is real life, folks, in an RV. Working, makeup working while traveling. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Shut that off. If your goal is to get smacked, you're killing it. Father's Day to Thank you. my wonderful husband and to any dads. <laughs> By the time you see this, it won't be Father's so, Day. Oh, that's so slimy and gross. Oh, it's so gross. Watch. Gross. Just keep it recording. <laughs> I'm